Let's see, what do we have here? Okay, no likes, no hearts. Let's check my Gmail. Oh, this is from Miss May. To everyone, please see the attached article below. Read and answer the following questions. <sighs> but I don't like reading. I'm terrible at reading and understanding a text. <sighs> Someone help me! Hello there. Whoa, who are you? I'm Miss Reed. And I can help you with your problem. I heard that you are having some trouble understanding a text, correct? Yes, that is correct. Besides, I don't find reading interesting. Well, I'm absolutely sure that once you learn how to properly read and understand the text, then you will love reading. So, Miss Reed, I know how to read, but I'm having a hard time understanding and remembering all the information. Well, that is because you don't establish learning goals before you read a text. Learning goals? That's right. Reading without goals is passive reading. Passive reading means you just wait for the book to give you information by glancing at the printed words. But active reading needs interaction with the text. But how do I interact with the text? Good question! This is the part where I will share with you the practical tips on how to read critically. Sounds cool! What is critical reading? Critical reading is reading with a goal of understanding, analyzing, and evaluating a text. In other words, you can reflect on what the material says and create or make your own ideas related to the text. You mean I can compare my ideas with the author's ideas? Exactly, and you can even question the author's ideas if you don't agree with them or if you don't agree with him or her. And further your learning by reading related information to the previous materials that you have read. Wow, it's like I'm interacting with the author. That is correct. But I still don't get it. How do I interact with the text? And here are my five tips. So this is an example article that we have first. Do not jump right to the reading material because it will make you feel um, uncomfortable or overwhelmed. You have to look for the title and the author first. Then look for images if they are available. Next, read the first paragraph and read the first sentence of each subsequent paragraph. So we have the first sentence of the second paragraph, the third sentence, or the sentence in the third paragraph. Lastly, read the last full paragraph. So there you go. I am highlighting it. So this is the fourth paragraph or the last paragraph. When you do all the steps, now, you can determine the main idea of the reading material. So, we have here the first full paragraph and then the first sentence of the second paragraph and then the first sentence of the third paragraph and the last full paragraph. So, the title is the step-down principle. From these words, we can say that the author's goal is to inform the readers about a principle. Now, let's read the first paragraph. Many of us sense the need to reduce our debt load and save more. How can we do this when money already seems to be tight? Increasing income may be an option for some, but for most, the answer lies in reducing current expenses, which can seem frustrating at times. As a financial 
financial counselor and educator, I have used what I call the step-down principle to help many people successfully reduce their expenses. Now, from this paragraph, we can determine that this section is about A. Fixing one's finances B. Increasing one's income or C. Paying one's debts The answer is A. Fixing one's finances Now, let's read the first sentence of the second paragraph. To use the step-down principle, imagine a staircase. From this sentence, we can say that the second paragraph is about A. Explanation how a staircase is constructed or B. A comparison or analogy of the step-down principle and a staircase. So the correct answer is B. A comparison or analogy of the step-down principle and a staircase. Now, you can take a look at the picture because it is available and this is the staircase and you can see some food by looking at the picture we can say that food is part of the step down principle now let's look at the first sentence of the third paragraph decide which step you are most likely to use this sentence doesn't give much information however the word step is part of the staircase Therefore, we can take a look at the picture again and make a connection to the sentence. And now, let's take a look at the last paragraph. Using the step-down principle can bring you peace of mind as you reduce expenses and reach your financial goals. Now that we follow the steps mentioned, we can say, that the main idea of the text is how do we reduce unnecessary expenses and fix our finances. So that is my first tip. Quite long, isn't it? Remember what I told you before? You have to have goals before reading a text for better understanding. Now that you have an idea what the text is about, it's time to create questions. These questions will guide you as you look for particular details. The guide questions are what, who, when, where, why, and how. Write these questions in a separate sheet of paper for later review. The example questions are what is step-down principle, who created the step-down principle? How did he or she come up with the idea of step-down principle? When is the best time to apply this principle? And why do people need to know the step-down principle? Now that you're done with the pre-reading stage, here comes the actual reading. As you read, Try to look for the answers to your guide questions. Feel free to add more questions if you find important information. Highlight the answers. After reading each section, pause and read the question and answer from the section aloud. Reading them aloud will help you focus your understanding. Then answer your question in your own words. After reading the entire text, reread your questions and answer them in your own words. In case you forgot information, you may refer to your highlighted answers from each section. So, let's have a quick recap of our five tips on how to read critically. We can remember these tips with the acronym SQ3R. S is for survey. You have to look for clues, what the text might be about, look at the title, the author, pictures available, read the first and last paragraphs, then read the first sentences of the succeeding paragraphs. The next is question. Make WH questions as your guide to find important details. And we have the three R. First is read which is to 
Look for answers to your guide questions in the middle of reading. Then you can add more questions when necessary. Recite is the part where you can pause each section or each paragraph and read your question and answer aloud. And lastly, we have the review. Review is reread your guide questions and try to answer them on your own words. These are the five tips on how to read critically.